Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve a D3, D11 compatible GPU is required to run the engine error that you are experiencing on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, I just want to point out, if your computer hardware does not support Direct 3D 11 or higher, then unfortunately you really won't be able to proceed with this tutorial. It's strictly a hardware limitation here with your GPU or your system perhaps, depending on how you want to look at it. So if it's not an issue, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully go about resolving it. So if you're running a newer version of Windows, like Windows 11 in particular, you should not be experiencing this issue. It should be compatible. If you're on Windows 10 or an earlier version of Windows, it's more likely that you just have incompatible hardware. So just keep that in mind and let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search menu, type in control panel, best match, should come back with control panel, go ahead and open that up. Set your view by to large icons and then you want to select the programs section, so programs and features, go ahead and left click on that. Locate the Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable if you see it in here. If you have multiple, that's fine. Just select the first one and then select change and select repair and then select yes. And you will do this for the second item in here as well once this one has completed. And you will prompt you to restart your computer. So let's go ahead and actually restart at this point. And then we're going to come back into the control panel and then do the same procedure with the other entry. So again, I'm going to open up the start menu once more, search for a control panel. I'm going to go underneath programs and features again. And I'm going to go to the second item in here. Again, you might only have one or two. It doesn't really matter, but we're going to go ahead and just select the change option again, and we're going to repair that item. And it's going to ask you to restart your computer. Let's go ahead and restart it at this point. And then hopefully at this point you should be good to go. If you did not notice any Visual C++ redistributable packages in the control panel, you can go onto a web browser and just download them directly from Microsoft here. So I'm just going to search for Visual C++ redistributable. Just go ahead and search for that. And then one of the best managers should be a Microsoft domain, so make sure you get directly from Microsoft here. So learn.microsoft.com. Going to open that up. And there should be a link to the latest version for 64-bit machines here. So unless you're running a 32-bit operating system, which you would download times 86. Anyone running Windows 11 should be running a 64-bit version of Windows 11. There's no times 86 version. So just go ahead and select the latest download here. Run that file. Accept the license terms and conditions and then select install. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And you just would let this proceed with the installation here. Setup was successful. Again, let's just restart your computer nonetheless. So I'll just give that a moment. And there you go, guys. Hopefully at this point your issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.